As we have wrapped up the summer and gotten into the fall, we've had a lot of big events. Two weeks ago, we had Lakeshore downtown, and we had a wonderful service out in the courtyard. Uh, and it was wonderful to be with everyone in sort of that relaxed environment. Last week, we were really lifting up all of the ways that we do ministry here at St. Uh, John's, and especially as we were giving a send-off to Paul and Carrie and celebrating all of the wonderful ways that they have done ministry and, and enlivened our ministry here at the cathedral. And now, with all of the dust kind of settling, we're sort of getting into the groove, getting into our pattern of fall. And this Sunday, we have some wonderful kind of routine and yet beautiful liturgy and worship uh, in store for you. In the morning, uh, we will be um, reading from Paul's letter to the Philippians, and it's this fairly heady passage that really focuses on Christ and his example, but also his sacrifice, the sacrificial love that God shows through the ministry and life of Jesus. And then the gospel lesson that follows that uh, is more of, of Jesus' own reflection on his authority and his example in the world. The two choir anthems that we will have in, on Sunday morning are both uh, cut from a mid-century modern cloth. We have two American composers, Lee Hoiby and Ned Roram, uh, and these are pieces that come from the middle of the 20th century and have that very distinctive American modern style, these clashing chords and kind of surprising dissonances. The Lee Hoiby, Let This Mind Be In You, draws directly from a very prosaic passage of the epistle, the uh, letter from Paul to the Philippians, and yet Lee Hoiby crafts what is really not poetic at all, very, very prosaic, and turns it into this kind of essay by the choir. Um, and it starts off with this fairly extended organ prelude. And then the choir comes in with those same chords, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. And the piece kind of alternates between those chords and some staggered entrances and what we call a fugal texture, where a voice will enter with a melodic fragment and then other voices will repeat that melodic fragment kind of in a round, but also playing off of each other. The communion anthem by Ned Roram, Mercy and Truth Are Met, draws from some words from Psalm 85. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed. So if the Lee Hoiby uses a very prosaic text, Ned Roram turned to one of the most poetic and most kind of beautiful sensuous texts that we have in the Bible. And this idea of righteousness and peace kissing each other and the intimacy there. And what Roram does is he sets out, again, with a fairly extended organ prelude, a beautiful, uh, whimsical sort of melody that then the choir will end up singing. But that, but that prelude in the organ sounds a bit like this. And it plays off of that melody, but you sort of get this feeling of two friends greeting each other and a conversation taking place. And then in the afternoon, we have Evensong, and we really hope that you will come back and consider joining us here at Evensong. The organ prelude starts at 445, and the service follows immediately, starting around 510. Uh, the service is about 45 minutes long. It will be over before 6, and we have a reception afterwards. And we have some really special elements to Evensong. Uh, the most special one for this particular even song is that the setting of the Manificat and the Nuke de Midis that the choir will sing is a brand new setting. In fact, this is only the second time that this setting will be sung, and it will be the American premiere. And the reason that we get to do this is because uh, St. John's Cathedral was one of three groups that commissioned this by the up-and-coming British composer Oliver Tarney. And there's actually even another 
um, even more special element to this brand new piece of music. But you have to come to Evensong or watch us online to find out that secret little extra bit about the Magnificat Nunc Dimittis. So we hope that you will join us here for worship this weekend at St. John's Cathedral, in the Cathedral Church or online at 1030 for Holy Eucharist and 445 for Evensong.